When most people think of marble, they think of your average white marble. But really, marble comes in many different colors, so you have lots of options when choosing marble for your home. Another misconception is that marble is a lot like granite. It's not. They're two completely different stones. So as you can see, there's a lot you need to know about marble before putting it in your home. Which is why I'm here today at the Vermont Marble Museum to talk with Robert Pye about all of the considerations you have to make before choosing a piece of marble. I'm hitting the road, searching for answers, and finding great design. It's a quest for beauty, function, and of course, inspiration. What's the difference between marble and granite? Good question. A uh, very simple description, granite is an igneous formation stone. It's actually uh, uh, magma that didn't erupt as in lava flowing out. It's magma that stayed under the ground and cooled very, very, very slowly. Tens of thousands of years actually to go from molten to solid state. It's one of the reasons why it's so hard because it cools so slowly. Um, so that's, that's granite. The marble, and if we can generalize and just stick with calcium carbonate limestone based white marbles, that's strictly sea life, lived and died, formed thick beds, compressed and heated from the interior of the earth, and then eventually uh, metamorphosed from uh, just the shells into a limestone, and then that limestone in turn was moved around with plate tectonics, folded, crushed, fractured, allowed water to intrude, adding color to the veining, and then that again, more heat and more pressure, metamorphosed into marble. Visually, how can you tell the difference between marble and granite? Almost all granites are a very salt and pepper uh, or, or a, a regularly modeled appearance. They have very many flecks. Correct. Very many flecks and very obvious when you get the light reflectance off of them, you see all of those flecks. Whereas marbles are very distinct with patterns of veining that runs through them and a lot smaller uh, crystalline structure. And, and if you view the crystalline structure, you'll, you'll notice it's very tiny compared to the granites. There's a large assortment of marbles, isn't there? It's yes. not just your white marble or your dark marble. There are multiple colors and Correct. different veinings. What do you need to know when you select one? Well, the one, one very important thing to know, most people's basis for choosing any form of decorating in their home is a color scheme. And so you may basically need to know initially what, what it is you want to work with. But even when you do that, you need to be uh, working directly with your fabricator and your installer to make sure you get the range you're intended uh, to have. In other words, let's say you're, you're looking for a green scale. You'll notice these two adjacent panels are, are the same stone quarried from the same quarry, possibly at a different time. But there's some distinct differences in the color. As you can see, this one has uh, lighter greens and this has the, the deeper range and, and a lot more white intrusion. So it's important to be aware of that because a subtle difference in color like that can, can be very important. It could be a big difference. Indeed. And you have to basically go out and look at the slab I before always, you purchase it? I always advise people to see the very slab they're going to purchase. When you're, when you're uh, working with granites, that's true as well. Now, certain granites, the blacks particularly, are very, uh, they're very consistent. So you can count on uh, 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 absolute black being the same from one slab to the next. But in the marbles, that's not true at all. You really have to select. You can even see within this set of panels. These are all very close to the same, but there are subtle differences. So I would certainly advise anyone to uh, actually pick the very slabs that will go into the fabrication. Are all marbles the same? No. <laughs> no. Uh, as far as their with, uh, ability to withstand wear and tear, they're very different. As far as their, their color range, they're very different. As far as expense, they're very different. So no, you, you shouldn't make assumptions that just because it has a name like marble or granite that they're all the same product. The perfect example being that many people make the assumption that marbles are not necessarily suitable you know, for home uh, use, particularly in kitchens. Uh, simply because they aren't even aware of the serpentine class of marbles, which are much harder and, and basically overcome all the objections of staining and scratching wear and tear. So you just have to have someone that you're working with that's knowledgeable and uh, uh, has been in the business a while. So some marbles really are very, very durable. Yes. And others are very, I guess, they crumble easier, they Correct. stain easier, they scratch easier? That's very true. Um, the, the white marbles you can generalize and say are the softer range of stones. But if you, let's say you wanted to get into something that was extremely durable or almost bulletproof, if you got into the serpentine class of marbles, that's a marble that you can uh, certainly live with without 
well, with very little care. I mean, everything requires care and maintenance, but the serpentines are, are uh, very low maintenance. Check out my website, askthedecorator.com, to discover more about this topic, read informative how-to articles, or watch other videos from my trip. You'll find a variety of helpful decorating advice when you stop by.